Yo, yo, yo. Video number two. We're back because we're still in traffic and I have more to say. <laughs> um, it's your boy or your man. Him in the hat. Follow me on the gram. Why am I doing shout outs? Anyway, um, I get a lot of questions about my sense of fashion. I like to dress well. And, and most questions are, you know, what, what was your inspiration for, you know, why? Like, you work in technology. Like, we can wear jeans and a t-shirt. So why are you putting so much effort into your appearance? And why does that matter so much to you? And as I think about that, it, it brings me back to, to middle school and it brings me back to high school. First of all, my dad was a dresser. So it's in my bloodline. My mom was a dresser. So it's it's in my bloodline that I should dress well. Uh, but growing up, didn't have the means to. I grew up poor. At the time, I didn't know I was growing up poor. But as I look back, shit. There were, there were some rough patches in life. Uh, but my parents made the best of it. And I remember this one specific time when in middle school, and this was back when like FUBU and Nike and, and Fat Farm and all those brands like would plaster their brand on, on some shirts or a jean like outfit or a velour outfit. And so you were popping in school if you came and you had something with like some giant logo on it that let people know oh that's name print i had nothing look i went through middle school wearing goodwill sweaters and my sweaters were fire like my my sweater game shit okay we good <laughs> so my sweater game was on point uh but I was a, I was a lame, you know, I, we had all these other people and I remember specifically this guy, he came in in this velour outfit and I thought he was looking fly and it was just like some sweats, wasn't even nothing crazy, but he had on some nice kicks and I remember him saying that he was like dressed down because it was laundry day and I was like, damn, like that's your dressed down outfit? And it hurt, it hurt my heart. I'm like, man, your dress down outfit looks flyer than like anything I'm putting together. So that, so one day my dad had this like Nike shirt in his closet and I'm like, all right, tomorrow, that's, that's me. I'm gonna wear that. So the next morning while, you know, my mom and dad, they're still asleep, I sneak in the room get in the closet I you know I grabbed the shirt but I still got my sweater on but I grabbed that Nike shirt I made sure I put on some nice jeans I like get the toothbrush and I like I clean up my sneaks so they look and fly uh they weren't the best but you know throw a toothbrush to them at least they gonna be clean and I, I put the Nike shirt in my book bag and I go out and I get on the bus uh, or at the bus stop. And so at the bus stop, I go ahead and switch. I put my sweater in the bag and put on this Nike shirt. I make sure, you know, it was all ironed out. So I make sure it's good. And I'm like, man, I'm about to be, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, they don't want to see me in this. They don't want to see me. Wait till I get to school. They're going to be like, ah. So I get to school and my head, like, I'm confident. Like, I'm cocky. Like, look, I got, I got on the Nike shirt. Like, I'm about to fit in. I'm about to go. At lunchtime, I'm sitting at the cool kids table. I'm in there. So I get to school and I get in class first hour homeroom. And we sitting in there, you know, I see I see a couple people checking me out like, oh, you got the Nike shirt on, oh, look at him, doing the sweater, oh shoot. And somebody's like, man, that ain't even real. And I'm like, what you mean this ain't real? You see it say Nike? Somebody, it's not real. It's like, man, check his tags. I was like, what you mean check my tags? What's that mean? 
So my man's come over and he like pulled my tag and the tag don't say Nike. It say, I don't know, whatever some off brand is or whoever made jerseys, whoever made the shirt, uh, basic t-shirts. And so it was like, oh, he over here stunting. He got, he got a fake Nike shirt on. And it, it killed me. Like, I, I didn't even get through the rest of my day. So I took the Nike shirt off, put my sweater back on. Like, shit, let me live the life that I've been living. Because apparently, I'm not flying this Nike shirt. So that, that moment scarred me in life. And, and I've always vowed to myself. Well, I've always set a high standard to, to dressing. Uh, because you look at people who, who dress well and even if you don't know that person you have a certain level of respect for them you have a certain level of a admiration like you look at that person and even if you don't know them you're like dang they look nice they look good and that person dressed well comes out with this like they exude confidence and so I took that to heart and I knew that once I was able to afford anything and then and for me as an adult it doesn't have to be name brand I'm not about the name brand I'm about comfort and I'm about does it look good uh, and so now it's hard for me to go out the house without looking my best uh because, you know, people think that being able to dress well or to dress a certain way, there's this level of expense to it. And, and for me, you cannot put a price on confidence. And if I can do anything to boost my level of confidence when I step out the house, then I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to make that investment. And, and for me, style is one, it's a part of who I am and a part of the story that I want to tell to the world. You know, it's a part of my narrative. It's my brand. It's my him in the hat, like me wearing hats and me dressing is my brand. People know me because of the way I dress. And if you don't know me, then you're going to come at me with respect or you're gonna wanna get to know me. Or one, of, one of my favorite things I've read or heard was, you know, I wanna, I wanna be that person that walks down the street and people are like, damn, I don't know that brother, but he fly. And I wish I knew that brother. And that's, that's it, that's all I want. But again, for me, it goes back to, to confidence and when I find something that I am, because style is all about you and your personality. It's not, for me, it's not about what other people think or what other people feel about it. It's about how do I feel about it by myself, right? Do I look in the mirror and do I say, hmm, okay, okay. The hat's looking all right, the little jacket, all right. You, okay, him, you doing your thing. Like, I, I need to be able to say that myself because I got to wear this, whatever it is, right? And then when I go out into the world, am I able to present that confidence to other people? And I am. That's that's what I do, right? I take pride in my appearance so that I can go out into the world and I can present myself in a way to people that I am proud of. And so when people speak to me or people talk to me, I can hold my head up and I can talk to them with confidence and they can say, this brother's got it going on. He has got it together. So, ooh, that was a long way of me telling you uh, why I like to dress. And at this point, it's just become a habit. It's so ingrained in who I am, again, as a person uh, and as a part of my personal brand that now now it's not even a second thought, right? Now it's just, this is who I am. 
and so when people first asked me, it, it, it took me a while to like think of like, well, what do you mean? This is just, this is just me. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to, to think about the root of this, because that's what we got to do. We got to get back to like, why, why, why are we this way? And it all starts somewhere. And for me, it was, ooh, it was middle school. That Nike shirt incident hurt me, man. It still scarred me from like, like today. Uh, we can be so cruel to each other as kids. But anyhow, here's my fashion tip for the day. <laughs> Straight from him in a hat himself. Listen, fashion isn't what's on TV. It's not what everybody else is wearing or what everybody else is doing. But do you. Rock your shit with confidence. Be proud of who you are because that's you. That's your personality and you got to be true to yourself. All right, good people. Let me get up off of here because traffic is moving. You enjoy your day. Until next time. I'll holler.